Okay, so the first thing we do with any machinery is open the damn manual. Read the manual, guys, before you go and open up anything. Okay, so here we go. The mission for today is overhauling a large centrifugal pump. And this was no planned one. We had a mechanical seal breakdown, a ton of leakage, and as you see, that part was stuck in the impeller when we dismantled the pump. Did you see the state of the seal? Well, let's see it again. But anyway, before we dismantle the seal, we need to see what distance, how far from the shaft was it, so that when we set it back in place, it's same as the original, the spring tension is the same, the pressure applied on the seal faces is the same as it's intended to in the manual. For that, I've measured the distance, and now my guys are taking out the broken seal. It's an old, broken, and damaged seal, guys, so we can surely hammer, but don't bring in your sledgehammers. Use a small mallet to tap it. A mallet is a soft hammer, like brass or some other metal. Now we're back at the pump casing. We are taking off the carbon bush, or you can call it line bearing. This is a vertical bearing. It's made of carbon. And you can see that this is also pretty badly damaged. This helps in aligning the pump. We need to replace that one as well. Since this is a large pump, the water just can't be drained. It requires another pump. Whoa, what have we found here? Another piece inside the pump. So well, we have to clean this pump. We have to take off the water completely from the inside, dry it out completely, and have a proper look-see inside. And to assist us with this, we are lucky here we have an endoscopic camera guys we have an endoscopic ah i'm confused as well endoscopic camera this has a long scope with the light and the camera probe at the end and in my hand is the screen oh there you can see my face in the screen and now look my friend of easy here wants to have fun as well let's go so we are back the pump has been assembled with a new seal on the new shaft just looking at the spring tension looking at the marks He's put lubricating oil, lubricating grease actually on those oil seal, on the O-rings. The impeller is good to go, assembled with the new seal. And the casing is clean, absolutely clean, inspected. No broken parts, no damaged parts. Let's lift her up and put her back in. Remember when you're lifting something this heavy, be careful, make sure you've checked all your lifting gear, including your belts, your chain blocks, your shackles, all have to be in good condition. I mean, inspecting them is a part of your monthly routine, but make sure. Another important factor is aligning this pump. It has to go in absolutely vertical, otherwise you can damage stuff. So we've led there wooden blocks so that nothing gets damaged. The final alignment and in we go. Vertical centrifugal pumps this size have something called as an intermediate shaft between the pump shaft and between the motor. So you don't have to pull out the huge motor before you can take off the pump. You just disconnect this intermediate shaft, then you can pull off the pump and get it overhauled. Okay, so all the bolts are tight. The alignment is okay. We need to purge the pump first. So we go to open the suction valve and let seawater purge out through the purge valve. Once we get the seawater from there, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, there it is. So now we've got seawater. We'll shut this valve for now. Okay, once the purge valve is shut, we're just rotating the pump, turning the shaft. Oh, that's the intermediate shaft that you see right there between the pump and the motor. Rotating the shaft, check it's free. The breaker back on. All right, so now we have power and we just have to start up the pump. There she starts. No spraying of water, so that's a good sign. Now the basics checks. We need to check the temperature of the seal after it runs for a few minutes. How are you gonna do that? Yes, you're right. We got to bring in our infrared gun check the temperature. Before that, we can also look at the discharge pressure, the suction pressure, the current of the motor. 
All these should be as per the normal specs, what it was running before and what it should be. That's the infrared gun, checking the external temperature of the casing around the seal. Looks good to go. Good job guys, we've done a good job. One more final temperature check with the gun after a few minutes. And of course, I mean, we are all old school guys, so we test to the back of our finger. But remember, be very careful, the pump still is running. You could get hurt with the coupling bolts. Do this un only if you're well experienced and you know what you're up to. All right, boys, thank you very much. We had a good time. See you soon, be safe. Ah, oh, see my friend, the wiper out there sleeping on the pump.